everyone, I'm Lara from GoSimply.ca and today I have a fat blasting cardio and core interval workout. We're going to be doing exercises 45 seconds on, 15 seconds rest, a cardio interval, then a core, then another cardio. The two cardio intervals are exactly the same exercise. We've got five groups to go through um, and I've included everything warm up cool down, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, I've got everything ready here. You don't need any equipment for this whole workout. And we're gonna get through with our warm up first. We're starting with a boxer shuffle. So just shuffling your weight back and forth here. We're doing each warm up exercise for 30 seconds a piece with no break in between, just like we always do. So next up, we're going to be doing just a body weight squat with a good morning added. So just going to squat down and then come up and bend over in a good morning. So we don't need to move too quickly here. We're just warming up body with good range of motion. Next up, we have a reverse lunge. So we're just stepping back and trying to keep our weight centered over our hips. Okay, so we're gonna move into a walking jack next. So it's just like a jumping jack with the arms and we're just walking the legs out, giving them a light tap. In just a few seconds, we're gonna go to a torso twist with the knee. So we're going to go one, two, and on the third one, lift your knee, and then the opposite knee. Get our center all warmed up for those challenging core intervals we're going to be heading into. It is definitely more cardio-based workout, but each one has a core component to it, so there'll be five core moves through this workout. Next up, we're going to go into a butt kicker. Again, just kicking those heels up like you're trying to kick yourself in the bum. Just a few seconds here. Excellent. Grab a drink of water and we'll come right back. So our first exercise is going to be a twisting pop squat. So I'll show you what that is. So you're going to twist down and then pop up. For a pop squat you sort of jump your feet together and then Get back down, and you're touching opposite fingers to opposite toes. And of course, with that bit of a twist, we're working that core. So for all of the cardio intervals I've chosen, they will also be working the core. And then of course, in between, we have the core specific exercise. So by the end, we should have a relatively sore tummy muscles. Just a few more seconds here and we'll get our rest. Excellent. So take your rest. And next up we're going to get down and do a Russian twist. So we have a few more seconds here. Okay, get on down. 
So a Russian twist, we lean back and we're twisting side to side. We're doing this for 45 seconds as well. It's a long interval, so you will feel it. If you start to lose your form or it just feels like too much, just sit up a bit more. Take a bit of the pressure off. But of course, you also want to be challenging yourself, but you don't want to do something silly and hurt yourself. So listen to your body. Just a couple more seconds here. Excellent, and hop back up. So we're going back to that twisting pop squat. So it's the ABA pattern. Ready. Remember opposite fingers to opposite toes and popping up in the middle. So while this isn't a hit workout, the cardio intervals are really long. 45 seconds is quite long. So we're burning a lot of calories doing this. And that's a good thing. seconds. Oh, good. Take your 15 minute break. No, not 15 minutes, 15 seconds. That would be lovely. And next up we have a lunge. Where we're going to touch our toe and then kick. So watch and I'll show you. So you lunge back, touch your toe, come up and kick. And we're going to do the whole 45 seconds on the one side of the body. I should actually be touching opposite hand to toe there. I was wondering why that was an extreme uh, balance issue there for me. So opposite hand to toe and then kicking up and you'll feel your core working for sure. And that right leg is going to start talking to you. <laughs> so we're doing the whole interval on the one side. Almost done. Take your wee break. That's only 15 seconds, not minutes. And we'll hop down and we'll do back bow arcs next. Okay, so we've got arms out in front. Arc off to one side and then the other. So you're sort of treating your body like a macaroni noodle to make that arc shape, or a rainbow if you prefer. And of course you're breathing hard from your cardio interval, so that makes this even harder. You try to have your head looking down so you can keep your spine in good alignment. And you've got your bum nice and tight and your abs pulled in too. Okay, great job. Hop back up. And now we're gonna do that lunge, toe, kick on the opposite side. So the left leg is going to be planted, right leg's gonna be moving. So opposite toe to fingers. I've got that right this time. See, even I make a lot of mistakes when I work out. And that's okay because I just keep moving. So now it's the left leg turn to say, you know, it really hurts staying here on one side, but that's okay because it's getting stronger and our core is working through the twist and to keep our balance when we come up on one leg. Almost done. Excellent. So we're heading into group three here. We're going to do three lateral jumps and then a vertical jump. So what should I do? I'm going to start going left. 
go left, right, left, vertical. If you can, the foot that's crossing behind during the lateral, try not to let it touch down. That'll really work the obliques that much harder. And it gives a balance challenge for the body. And when we're required to balance, that's our core at work. Almost done here. Excellent. So we're gonna get down, we're gonna do a toe touch crunch. We're gonna twist it and go opposite fingers to toes. So I'll show you that. So get down, legs up. I know opposite fingers to toes. Now I'm actually trying to tap my ankle bone and I'm discovering that I'm much more flexible on one side of the body. That's not really a surprise, most of us are. You're doing a great job. Remember you can take a break if you need to. Keep those abs firm. Excellent. So come on back up. We'll do those lateral jumps with the vertical jump again. Okay, so one, two, three, vertical. Remember to try not to put that toe down behind to work that core harder. If you need to put it down for your balance, that's okay. Just keep it as a challenge and something to work towards. Almost done here. Great. Next up we're doing burpees, but don't get too upset because we're gonna come up and do a front kick on each side before jumping back down to the burpee. So it's a little less challenging. So down, up, kick left, kick right. And this time kick right and then left. So you're alternating which foot is starting with the kicks. And again, because we're going up and kicking and we're standing on one foot, we have another balance challenge, which means we're using our core. And a burpee in itself is just a full body exercise. It's probably why most of us don't like them because the whole body is working. All right, take your rest. No part of your body is getting to rest during a burpee, so it's hard. So next up, we're gonna be down on the ground. We're gonna do a pulsing swimmer. So I'll show you that. Arms and legs out. And instead of switching rapidly, you're gonna go up, pulse again, and then switch. Up, pulse, switch. And again, keep yourself looking down at the ground so that you've got good alignment in your neck and spine. Remember to have your abs pulled in and your bum nice and tight. This is really working the lower back. Excellent. Hop back up and we'll get ready for the second round of the burpees with the front kicks. Okay, 
So burpee, left kick, right kick. And then right kick, left kick. And keep alternating through like that. And if you forget which foot you're on, doesn't matter. We're just trying to switch it up so that we don't always favor one side of the body. Almost done here. Excellent. Take your break. We have one last group to go through before our cool down. So the cardio move is going to be just a regular old jumping jack. So arms and legs out wide. Try not to be noodly, keep some control over those limbs. Just 15 seconds left. Great job. And for our core exercise, we're going to get back down on the floor again. We're going to do two single leg jackknives and then a double leg. Keep going back and forth. So watch me. So single leg, single leg, double. And then try to start with the different leg for the singles, double. If you can do double jackknives for the whole 40 seconds, go for it. That's great. Just because I'm not doing it doesn't mean that you can't do it. And if you're not quite there for the double yet, then just do singles the whole way through and every now and then try a double. Great job. Roll back up. We have one more cardio interval here. This is the last one. Remember, it's the jumping jack. So 45 seconds till cool down. Okay, so tummy's pulled in tight, arms and legs are nice and strong, they're not noodly. Almost done. Last five seconds of work. Great job. Grab a drink of water if you need to and come right back. Okay, our cool down is going to be 30 seconds of move, starting with a boxer shuffle. Okay, so there's no rest in between. We're letting our heart rate come down. We've done the hard stuff. We did a great job. We worked our tummy hard. We worked our whole cardiovascular system very hard. We've burned lots of calories. We should feel very proud. Now we're going to go to a walking up and out. Just a few more seconds here and we're going to move on to a hip flexor stretch where we bend off to the side to sort of stretch out our core. 
So I'm going to bring my left leg back, roll my hips under, I'm going to bring my hands up, and I'm going to lift or stretch off to the right side. So the leg that's in front, that's the side that I'm leaning to. So I'm stretching my hip flexor as well as all up through my side here. It actually feels really, really lovely. In just a few more seconds, we're going to switch off and do this on the other side, the exact same stretch. So we just put our left leg in front, right leg is back, roll the hips under, the hip flexor, arms overhead, and lean off this time to the left side. Just a few more seconds here, and then we're going to move on to a quad stretch. So I'm going to start by pulling my left leg up. Knee is pointed straight down to the floor. My back's in good alignment here. If you need to hold on to a chair, or the wall, that's totally fine. At this point in the workout, we've used up a lot of carbohydrate and our balance is definitely starting to grow. We're gonna switch that up to the right side. Whoop! I could do with a chair. There we go. So again, the knee is pointing straight down. So after this one, we're going to get down on the ground and we're going to do a butterfly stretch. So come straight down, soles of your feet together, just grasp the toes of your running shoes, pull those knees down to the floor, and lean forward. And stretching out your lower back, your hips, inside thighs even. It's a lovely stretch. We've got one more stretch here. We're going to go into a shell stretch. And we're going to pull our arms off to the left side here. So you crouch down into a shell, leaning off to the left. You'll feel a really nice deep stretch along the right side of your body and your lower back. And then we're just going to move it off to the other side. All right, great job everyone. If you've made it through this whole workout with me, you've worked really, really hard. Make sure you at least go and grab a snack. Let me know what you think of this in the comments below. Hope to hear from you and hope to see you again soon. To keep up to date with the latest workouts, subscribe to my YouTube channel and click like on Facebook. Have a workout request? Send it at gosimply.ca slash contact.